Hey guys, Phil. Well, it's been a while. Um, I've just been tinkering around doing this and that. But I've came across a neat little thing here that might interest some of you. It's just a micro forge. Very easy to build. I have a terracotta pot. I've seen the coffee can forges and a lot of other ones. Uh, just got a pipe right through the middle, drilled, uh, and I've just put grout in there uh, to make like a little funnel for the coals to lay in. And I'm going to be firing this thing up here in a little bit. Um, very easy to do. Just terracotta pot. I decided to get a little deeper one this time. Uh, a little bit of pipe. I'm going to drill a hole through this pot right here. And install just a simple little bow for air control and put some grout in it. And we'll have us a micro forge. So step one, let's get us a hole in this pot here. Got the pipe in there. So now what I want to do is come in here and make some marks on the pipe. Uh, just a few, kind of dead center. I'm going to go about a half inch apart. So it looks like I'm only going to probably get about four holes in there, kind of dead center, once I taper this grout down to it. Easy enough so far, huh? Right, I'm going to drill the holes in copper. And we'll take it from there. Just with a couple of inches here, we we'll put the control valve on. That fits right in there, and that'll set right down on the floor for just a little more stability. There we go. Now we got a place for our airline our control valve which we're going to go ahead and turn off and it fits right in there got to do just a simple bit of tweaking here to make it sit down plus actually that's it right there and the holes are pointing straight up right there at that angle now one more step because this is going to be the last time I want to pull it out I'm actually just going to reach in and crimp the end of that pipe just so we don't get a lot of air loss right out the end I'm not going to worry about soldering it shut. I'm going to turn it sideways so it'll be flat. There we go. Now there'll be maybe a teensy bit of air loss there, but not very much. Most of them just come right out the holes. Alright. Easy so far, huh? What well, sure is hot down here. And I'm fixing to do some forging. Okay, let me get my grout ready. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get my grout in there. I may have to do two batches. It's a small bowl. And don't worry about getting grout down in the little holes you drilled because uh, you can easily poke them out. Alright, there we go. And I'm just kind of just walling the holes out down there. Just made a little V cut down in the bottom. And might as well try to make it look a little pretty. Alright, our micro forge is built. Well, what this forge is going to do, I'm going to let that one dry before I do my first burn. Uh, this one here I, I did last night. Of course, I did a little different material. I actually used a black iron nipple in this one and a bigger valve. I got the valve a little too close to the burner though, but you can still operate it without a lot of trouble. Well, what this is going to allow me to do is make micro tools. It will allow me to forge my little carbon blades I do, and heck, I might even be able to forge some little uh, keychain strikers. Alright guys, give it a try. Um, it's always fun to set and melt metal. So, just a little bit of air and some charcoal works just fine. Alright, hopefully there'll be some videos on using the micro forge. Alright, thanks guys, good to see you again.